7.3 power functions and function operations. So let's take a look here and see what we got. Operations of functions. Okay, and uh, I think the best way personally to do this is by me just giving you two examples here and we're just going to go through. And operations of functions are mainly something that you've uh, done and that you have done many, many, many times before. We just have never talked about it in this fashion before. Um, what that means is operation of functions with addition. Um, you just take the function of f plus the function of g and the point is I give you a function of f which is 2x. I give you a function of g which is x plus 1. And all I'm really saying here is take each of those and add them together. So f of x is 2x, g of x is x plus 1, so I simply just add them together and 2x plus x plus 1, I combine like terms to get 3x plus 1. Subtraction is the same way. Um, I would take the f of x minus g of x, so f of x equals 2x and g of x equals x plus 1. So I just plug those in respectively. Here's 2x, I plug that in for f of x. Here's x plus 1, I plug that in for g of x. But here's the catch. It's minus all of g of x, minus everything that is in g of x. So minus x plus 1 is really all I'm doing there. So I distribute that through to both items. Negative x, negative 1, and now I can combine my like terms. 2x minus x is x, and we have x minus 1 as our answer. So let's take a look and see what we have next here. Operations of functions continuing on here with the same examples. Now we're talking about multiplication. Basically, it's f of x times g of x. That's all that that basically is. You're multiplying the two items together. So I have 2x and an x plus 1, so I plug that in right here for f of x. So it's 2x times x plus 1. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. And there's a multiplication with them. And division with operations of exponents is just saying f of x divided by g of x. Since f of x is 2x, I put a 2x in there. Since g of x is x plus 1, I put an x plus 1 in down there, and you end up with 2x over x plus 1. So basically, uh, a good way of saying most of this is substitution. That's basically the big way to say all this. Um, the power function um, is a x to the b, um, and what that basically is saying is that a is a real number right here, and the power function means b is a rational number. All right, rational meaning some type of fraction in some way. So when we're talking about example one, um, it's the same as before. We're just going to use our operations here with functions, f of x plus g of x. Well, that basically means I take all of this, plug it in for f take all of this and plug it in for g. So I have 2x to the half plus negative 6x to the half. Well, this is the variable, x to the half and x to the half. So if I have 2x's to the half and negative 6x's to the half, I have negative 4x's to the half. Um, this is now using subtraction. So f of x minus g of x. So when I am subtracting, I just plug this in for um, f of x, and I plug this in for g of x. So it is 2x to the half minus, and that is 6x to the half, minus a negative is like saying plus. So 2 of them plus 6 of them is 8x's to the half. With example 2 here, um, changing it up, f of x is 3x and g of x is x to the fourth. If I wanted you to multiply them, you plug this item in for f of x, you plug this item in for g of x. So I plugged them in. Um, 3, and this is a 1 as the coefficient out in front, so 3 times 1 is 3. But now we have to take the exponents, and when you have two x's side by side, what are you supposed to do with those exponents? Well you're supposed to add them. So I add those. This is a 1 and a 1 fourth and when I go to add them together um, I would end up getting um, x to the 5 fourths but the reason why I don't combine them together is because if I do combine them together I get a um, improper fraction anyway and I'd have to switch it to a mixed number to simplify it. So really 
you just keep it the same as the point. Um, over here with dividing, we have 3x because I plug that in for f, and x to the half, 1 fourth, I plug in for g of x. All right, so um, we can't have rational exponents on the bottom, so I have to figure out what will make that a whole. So 1 fourth plus what makes a whole? Well, 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. So what that means is I am going to take x to the 3 fourths on both the top and the bottom. So 1 fourth and 3 fourths is 1 whole x, which is what we have here. So that's 1 whole x. And I have the x to the 3 fourths on top. These two items, there's an x on the top and the bottom, so those two cancel out, leaving me with just 3 uh, times x to the 3 fourths. And uh, quickly here, we have the composition of a function. And basically what that means is you take the second item and you plug it into the first item. And you would read this as f of g of x. And that's what this little uh, circle with a hole in it means. It stands for composition. So if you see that, that's not actually saying fog of x. It's actually saying that um, we want you to take f of g of x, which means the composition. So if you see that, we are talking about compositions. This means you you plug in the entire second equation into the first equation where there's an x. That's all that that really means. That's all that we're really talking about there. Um, so we have our two examples here for um, example uh, three, and we're going to start them when we come back because this could take a little bit of time, and I don't want to have to rush it there at the end. So you'll have to tune in to the next edition, uh, 7.3 Part 2, on power functions and function operations.